Happy Thanksgiving to my YouTube family in the year 2020, which we all know has been the most unusual of years. As such, Thanksgiving's going to be a little bit different this year. I live in eastern Pennsylvania, and unfortunately, like most of the country, we're having a surge in COVID-19 infections, and they have been encouraging us to stay home and stay socially distanced. But being apart doesn't mean that we can't celebrate this holiday in some ways together. I've been very grateful for the internet and for YouTube and for other technologies that have brought people from around the world closer to me. I've made a lot of friends on YouTube this year. Granted, a lot of you I knew from last year, but this year I feel like our friendships have definitely strengthened. I was fortunate recently to have met some of the Pennsylvania YouTubers at our meetup in Ashland and Centralia. Yet there are other YouTubers that I still have not met in person, I sure hope to someday. And one of those YouTubers, actually two of them, are Tracy and Leah Phillips from Arkansas. Uh, we met on Rusty78609's channel. We met in the comments section, but then Tracy started watching my channel, and I started watching his. And when Leah started her channel, I started watching hers too, and our friendship has just grown from there. And uh, recently I did a, a fairly nasty thing to Tracy and Leah. I sent them a garden gnome, Katz, who he's quite a handful. I'm sure you've seen those videos. If not, I'll link to them above. Somehow it sounds like Katz is getting along fine in his Arkansas family, but would you believe it? They actually thanked me for sending that crazy little gnome to them. And I received a couple nice gifts. Among them, I got this adorable cat mug from Leah. And then I also received my first MRE from Tracy. For those of you who don't know Tracy, his main channel, he does MRE reviews. And um, I've never had an MRE before. I started watching his because I was a little curious what was inside these things. And it turns out there's a huge variety and there's a lot of people who do review channels. And um, so Tracy sent me one to try. Now, from what I understand from the community, this pepperoni pizza one is a little controversial. Some people like it. A lot of people don't. So maybe that's my retaliation or his retaliation for me sending a crazy gnome. Interestingly, I've heard from the community a lot of people say this pizza tastes like the uh, pizzas that used to be served by the school cafeterias when I was growing up. And I have an enduring fondness for that pizza. I, I really love it. Sometimes I even crave it. Um, I don't know that that says much for our school cafeteria, though. Uh, <laughs> it, it was one of the few meals that was actually edible without drowning it in ketchup. So I thought we'd do something a little different for Thanksgiving this year, since in the year 2020, my YouTube family has really meant a lot to me. Um, I've been housebound most of the year. I mean, yes, I've gotten out on some occasions to film some videos you've seen, but I've mostly been at my desk working. And it's nice to come up for air during breakfast, lunch, dinner, queue up a couple videos, see what everybody else is up to. You know, it's kind of been a way. It's sort of let me travel the world and see things, and it's let me meet new people and get closer to people. So I had held on to this MRE for a couple months, just on the off chance that we got one of those tropical storms that came through and knocked out power. I thought, well, wouldn't that be interesting if I ended up doing my first review under those conditions? Don't get me wrong, I wasn't hoping for that, but I held on to it for practicality just in that sense. Um, we are thankfully past hurricane season. So I thought since so many in my YouTube community do MRE reviews or even just take MREs on the road with them when they're uh, doing their truck driving or their camping, doing my first review for Thanksgiving, yes, it's highly unusual. It's probably not what most people are aiming to do for Thanksgiving, but to me it is a way uh, to connect with my YouTube community a little bit more. So Tracy and Leah, I'm going to thank you now, even before I start. We'll see how this goes. So let's open this thing up and see what I think of it. So as you can see, this is menu 23, pizza slice, pepperoni, from the U.S. Department of Defense. 
It says Warfighter recommended, Warfighter tested, Warfighter approved. So let's start by opening this up and seeing what's inside. It says it has a peelable seal, but I brought the scissors just in case. So I unfortunately do not have a lot of strength in my hands and fingers, so scissors it is. Okay, so we get it open and it's a bag within the bag. And it looks like here I definitely need the scissors. Okay, so the first thing I pull out is, of course, dessert. Looks like we've got a cherry blueberry cobbler. And then we've got some cardboard with the nutrition facts on it. And we've got the main course here, which is the pepperoni pizza with cheese and sauce. Next up is the accessory pack. I'll open that separately after I get the rest out. Ah, I'll definitely like this. Cheese spread with jalapenos. Cheese makes everything better. And we've got more dessert, an oatmeal cookie. Can't go wrong with that. And we've got Italian breadsticks. Can't go wrong with that either. That'll go good with the cheese and jalapeno spread. And I've heard these are exceptionally good. We've got the chocolate protein drink powder. We've got a plastic spoon. That'll go with the fine Tupperware that I brought out. I did bring my own silverware just in case, but we've got a spoon we can use too. And last but not least, we've got the flameless ration heater. I've seen Leah have way too much fun with these. Going to try to use it responsibly just to heat up the pizza. And finally, we've got a hot beverage bag. Uh, I'm not sure that there is hot beverages in here. Actually, there probably is. I forgot about the accessory pack. There's probably coffee in that. So, let's open the accessory pack to find out. So, we've got salt. Sugar. Chewing gum. There we go, instant coffee. Non-dairy creamer. A moist towelette. A folded napkin. And a pack of matches designed for a damp climate. Okay, so don't mind me. I had to pause this for a bit to read the instructions. I've watched enough of these reviews, you'd think I'd know how to do this by now, but um, it's funny when you try to do something by yourself for the first time, you got to really think through it. So it turns out this cardboard insert that I thought was just giving nutritional information is actually a pouch to hold this after it's heated. So you want to hang on to that. So it looks like what I got to do is tear the top of this pouch off and put the pizza slice and the heater in it and then pour water below it and get it started heating.
All right, so that took a little bit of creativity folding the pizza slice pouch so that it didn't split the flameless ration heater bag open. It's kind of like when they give you a card and it doesn't quite fit in the envelope they provided with it. But I got it in. Let's see if we can get it to heat up. Yeah, that says to put water up to that line. Do not overfill. Doesn't take a lot of water. I thought it would take more. Hopefully I got that right. Okay, I sure hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> it says hold it level for a minute until it starts to get warm. And then we got to prop it up for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, I was starting to think that a watched flameless ration heater never boils, but sure enough it does. That's getting warm. You can see it's starting to expand. It's about 57 degrees outside here right now, overcast. I don't know if there's a point at which it gets too cold to use these outside, but it seems like this will be okay. I've got to go back to the house to get some uh, boiling water for the coffee. So I decided to do this outside in the backyard to give the ambiance of camping, but I guess I can't really fool anybody when I can walk back to the house for a cup of boiling water. But hey, I'm out of range of Wi-Fi signal. That kind of counts as primitive, right? <laughs> no? Oh, come on, guys. I'm trying, really. I'm trying. All right, well, the pizza continues to heat up. It's feeling nice and toasty warm, and while that does its thing, I'm going to unpack everything else. Yes, you're witnessing the extent of my cooking skills. Can't make coffee without spilling it, can I? I take my coffee black, so I'm going to hang on to the sugar and creamer because sometimes, believe it or not, before there was a pandemic, people come visit and sometimes people want those and then I never have them on hand. So now if people are ever allowed over again and they want their cream and sugar, I can take care of them. And because it's Thanksgiving, I've broken out the finest Tupperware. Dining in style here, guys. So we've got our breadsticks, and I'm sure my lawyer would advise you do not eat this uh, desiccant pack. Now, those actually feel very soft and fresh. So we'll need this cheese pack. Well, it's not the most spreadable stuff, even after I've kneaded it. Yeah, who says I can't cheat a little? It's my first one, right? All right, so that's not exactly a gourmet presentation, but it'll get the job done. At least these packages tear open pretty easy. Got our oatmeal cookie. That sure as heck looks good. No skill required there, guys. I got that one. All right, and because we're living in luxury today, second Tupperware plate just for the pizza. So they want you to tear the bag to remove the MRE. I'm going to go with the trusty scissors again here, especially since it's hot. Go 
Gonna just cut it open. Of course I get it upside down. That's that's how I roll. Well, it's warm. I'll give it that. Alright, so it doesn't look anything like my school cafeteria pizza, but it actually it smells pretty good. Looks okay. <laughs> Let's see how it tastes. Alright, so here's the verdict, guys. It does not taste anything like my high school cafeteria pizza, but it's actually pretty good. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to put myself in the camp of people saying this is actually pretty good. I can eat this. So Tracy, if that was a thank you for getting the garden gnome, then thank you for the MRE in return. And if that was an attempt at retaliation, try again, buddy. All right. Time to try the breadsticks. Yeah, those are really good. You can't go wrong with breadsticks. Breadsticks, cheese, now you're talking my language. Definitely like that. They're nice and soft. They've got a good Italian flavor. The jalapeno cheddar cheese spread, it's probably nothing um, out of this world, but it's adequate. It works. So I'm going to pause while I, I eat the pizza while it's still warm finish the breadsticks and then we move on to dessert and coffee. All right, my cats are going to be really disappointed. I finished the pizza. There's nothing left for them to try. I will say this now that I've eaten the whole slice of pizza. I like the taste. It is a little dry. It really could use um, a little bit more sauce. And it's rare I say that about pizza. Usually I want more cheese and more toppings heaped on it. This one could use a little more sauce. And I don't know if, you know, it was warm but not hot. I don't know if maybe I didn't put enough water in the flameless ration heater. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or maybe I didn't, uh, maybe I tilted it at a little bit too much of an angle. I'm not sure. Um, the cheese wasn't really, like, melty and gooey like you would expect on pizza. But it was warm. It tasted good. You know, if you're somewhere that you can't get something to eat, I'd be plenty happy eating that. Um, the breadsticks were really good. Um, the jalapeno gets a little tiresome after a couple bites. That's just me. It's not, uh, I like jalapeno, but only in small quantities. But, uh, definitely enjoyed it. Can't complain. Um, so far it's actually more filling than I expected. So, I'm going to try the coffee first, and then we're going to move on to dessert. So the coffee's definitely nothing to write home about. Um, it's your standard fare instant coffee, I'd say. Certainly not bad, but um, like I said, nothing special. Okay, so here I am trying to be neat about everything as always. I'm going to eat this right out of the pouch so that it doesn't... Uh, stain my fancy Tupperware. This is the Cherry Blueberry Cobbler. I gotta say, that's actually a lot better than I expected. It's not something I would normally eat. Um, I don't think I've actually ever had a Blueberry Cherry Cobbler, ever. So I don't really have anything to compare it to. But it's actually very good. And it's fruit. It's healthy for you, right? Set that aside for a minute so I could try the cookie. So that's an oatmeal cookie. Obviously, it's quite good. Um, I am a little more partial to soft cookies. This is a harder and crumblier cookie. It's got a good taste to it. Definitely got a lot of flavor. It's kind of more crumbly, almost a little bit like a granola bar in terms of texture. But quite good. Can't complain. Let me finish this stuff up, and then we'll uh, end it by making the chocolate shake. All right, time flies when you're having fun. I have polished off the cookie and the uh, cherry blueberry cobbler. And I'm looking at the horizon now, and if I don't get my act together, we're going to be hitting sunset pretty soon. Uh, although with the clouds, I don't think we're going to have a pretty good one. But uh, I am going to lose the light. So last but not least... 
I'm going to move on to this chocolate protein drink. So as with everything, you got to start by taking the top off the bag. I cheated and used scissors. Got to be careful here not to mess this up and spill everything. They want you to pour water up to that line. I'm telling you, you guys who do this regularly, you make it look so easy. Alright, and then that seals up, and you shake it. Boy, the wind is kicking up, and it is getting cold now. So you probably can't see that too well. Let's see what I could do here. Kind of looks like chocolate pudding. Yeah, I probably need to shake it a little bit better. Tastes really good. Yeah, I'm going to have to shake that a little more. Yeah, you definitely want to shake that up pretty good. It's actually a good dark chocolate taste. Kind of tastes like chocolate pudding. I can't complain. You got to really work at mixing that up. I can tell uh, I shook it like three, four times that you didn't see on camera. And it's still got some dry powder in it. And since it's getting, uh, since it's getting dark here and cold and windy, I'm going to take it in the house to finish it up. That's going to cap off this review. The only things I didn't use from the MRE, like I mentioned, the creamer, the sugar. I haven't used the gum yet. Um, the matches, the moist towelette, I can't say that, the moist towelette, and the paper towel. And because I am doing this from the convenience of home, I'm actually going to, uh, to use my stuff and then... Um, pack that away in my truck because you know you never know when you're on the road and you need that stuff these days especially with so many places only doing takeout or drive up window only be good to have a napkin or a moist towelette with you on the road anyway I can confidently say that's the most unusual Thanksgiving dinner I've ever had and yet I'm very thankful for it 2020 is memorable for all the wrong reasons why not add something like this and make it memorable for a good reason Thank you very much to Tracy and Leah for the gifts. I hope that gnome's not causing you too much trouble. He is a handful. And even more so, I want to thank, you know, not only you guys, but everybody in the YouTube community, really, for your, you know, your friendship, your support of my channel, uh, the comments left on both my channel and in response to my comments on your channels. I mean it from the bottom of my heart when I say that the YouTube community has meant so much to me in the year 2020. It's just really helped me get through what would otherwise be some very, you know, lonely, isolating times. And I sure hope everybody is staying safe, staying healthy this holiday season. Even more so, I hope that 2021 brings us closer together. And if the world gets even partly back to normal, maybe that can mean getting together in person, meeting some of you guys who I haven't met before, like Tracy and Leah, and even meeting up with my local YouTube pals more often to go explore some things and bring you guys some more interesting footage. So that's going to cap off this first MRE review. It was an interesting experience. I've got to say, the food tastes better than I envisioned it would. I mean, maybe I spent too much of my life eating out of convenience stores. Uh, but this food was actually pretty good. i got to say, on par or better than a lot of the, you know, snack foods you'll pick up there. Um, chocolate protein shake actually tastes fantastic. And the protein in it's certainly good for you. And like I said, the pizza, you know, it's it, if you gave me a choice of 
any pizza in the world, it's not what I'm going to pick. But, you know, I could eat that regularly if I had to and not have a problem with it. I think it's actually, you know, pretty good. So thank you again, Tracy. Put links to your channels in the bottom of the page. And before I sign off, let's go have a look at the sunset. It's not much of one, but hey, it's something, right? Thank you for watching.